Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Uh, this is Spiritual Toolbox number 492. It's continuing the study of John chapter 4, verse 34. A dissection of this thing. Let's document to it out there. Get out, prove it for ourselves so that we don't have to say, well, maybe this is correct, leaving doubt. And that maybe is a doubt word. Ah! <coughs> Spit that junk out. We don't need it. I don't want it in me. Do you want it in you? No. I hope not. Let's let God build that relationship. Build her in us. So we don't want it. We don't need it. Ooh, yuck. Shut that zoom, zoom, zoom traffic up in you. Hmm? Now. Today is Thanksgiving. I'm going to break this one. I have it pre-recorded, but it's, I almost went over, so I'm going to break it up into two recordings. I'm going to put this last little bit that I didn't get on there. Why well, the beginning of these? Okay. And this is... Um, say, how are you going to satisfy... That desire, that longing that's inside of each one of us. To be fulfilled. To want, to need. Huh? Oh, the horse nature, that beast nature, that Adamic nature always wants more, more, more. It's grabbing like you're grasping after the wind. Open it up. It's about like grabbing after neutrinos with your hands. You're a wimp to do that. You're trying to grasp after weakly interacting massive particles. <laughs> That's stupid, right? Nothing there. It's grasping after the wind. Anything that you think might be good is temporary and satisfactory. It's transitory. Mm, it's vanity. Mm, that doesn't last. It's not a permanent fix. To get that permanent fix... E in God and coming back to this S Y N in union with God. Quit believing all this dark matter, dark energy stuff like in the natural. Same with the universe is gonna go out there, go colder and colder, go out to nothingness. Mm -mm. Green light God and he's bringing it with that relationship builder back into oneness with him. Now to get this increases this E N, that's that's really I N, and it's in relation to rest. N I N God, and it's bringing us back to S Y N in union with God. We're greenlighting God in these storms of our lives at these four way stops, and when we gain this, when we put a stop to all that, room zoom zoom boom boom, huh? God's taking this plasma gun out and at whatever level. If we've germinated and green lighted a few times in this area of our thinking, we've went from a we've germinated it and it become two to the zero power. I won. Hmm? You got the Spirit of God, Christ, then one. Then maybe do it again. Two. Then do it again. Four. Then we need to go to eight next time at this next stop site because cause this pressure. This ellipsis, this fire trial's got it ready, and it needs the four plus the two plus the one. That's seven plus the spirit of God. Zap, 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 zap with the plasma guns. <clears throat> Shooting it out, making the eight to increase it from four to eight. And it does that every time. At eight, it's got eight plus four plus two plus one. And then that extra one. Zap, zap, zap. The ace in the hole came to another. Bam, up to again, double again. 16, 32, 64. Green light, God. Keep doing it constantly. Each increase, God's giving you. God gives you the increase. You don't increase yourself at all. You don't save or deliver yourself from the carnal mind at all. The only thing you're doing is agreeing with God. Green light him emphatically. In hot pursuit, I let this build, this relationship builder 
build, build, build. That's your spiritual warfare. The battle is the Lord's. You're just his damsel in distress. That God, just like Jesus' name means. Huh? Not just mouth and the words. This is in Jesus' name. Jesus, I-E-S-O-U-S. It's 2424. And name is Anima in the Greek, the Koine Greek, which is an extinct language, and the ancient Hebrew. It's shame, S-H-E-M. Hmm? That's his nature, character, and authority. And you do, see, to do this, you're gaining. God gives the increase each time. He's taking you through the eye of the needle, little bit by little bit by little bit, zapping out all that carnal stuff each time. Not going with the flow of that zoom, 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 boom, boom, good and bad and evil bandit stuff. Turning you into a bunch of junk. Believing that God's a monster. So that's bullcrap. Throw the bullshit flag on it today, right now. Because Yahweh, YHWH, not Jehovah, Jehovah, that elongates it, pretty delays it. I'll do it my God. No, sir, Bar Barney Five. No, sir, Mr. Hulk Hogan. Hmm? I want that writing on the wall that says, I'm six, six, six thinking. God's taking it out. That beast nature, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. Out of my forehead, out of my mind, a little tiny bit at a time. And out of my hand, my works, my effort. I'm not relying, resting and relying, and I'm not in union with that stuff. Woo! God is saving you. God is the Savior. Yahweh is deliverance. Hmm? Yahweh saves. That's so so. Come on, man. Let's get our mind right. Quit this foolish junk. Quit being... Uh, blasphemous and saying God's going to throw you in a torment worse than any serial killer could ever even think about. No, no, no. That God gives those increases. Now, what's he increasing you into? God's love. His superior way. His higher way. Huh? And God's love is he loves you beyond the mere description of words. It's child. He's bringing you back and giving you more of a charm each time. That's the ability to love God and others as yourself, increasingly, more and more, more, huh? You're gaining the ability to love God as he first loved you. And with that comes gratitude and increase in gratitude, in thankfulness. What is today? Thanksgiving. Not just about eating natural food. Let's eat this spiritual food at whatever level. You're just a truly baby, think sober minded. Don't go out there and try to push stuff down other people's throat. No, no, no. If God tells you to, you give that. Yes, sir. But you can only give at whatever level you're at in each thought process. Don't be stupid. Don't be a bastard. Huh? A bastard means an illegitimate son. No, no, no. You're, you're whatever level. If you're a tiny baby thinking, zero to a two-year-old, a toddler, a nepios, a simple-minded, immature, non-speaking, you're not speaking in the love of God. That's that baby, right? You're still a son, right? But you go out there trying to speak hee-haw language, hee-haw, hee-haw, or parakeet, beast nature. You're speaking out of your dumb ass. Huh? Your beast nature. Huh? You're speaking out of this Barney Fife's jail. 666. Trying to be a one bullet Barney telling everybody about uh, whatever level you're at. Whatever. Be sober minded. Hmm? God loves you. Speak. Live, exist out in this land of Goshen, in this grace. I let that reflect out. Quit speaking out all this black, dark, carnal junk. 
But you got like in one thought process, you got 35,300 million trillion, six zeros plus 12 zeros, 18 more zeros out past 35,300. Dark. Yeah, doesn't know nothing. Dumb in a rock. Can't speak. Doesn't speak God's. Doesn't see, hear, taste, touch, or spell. Doesn't speak nothing of God's love. Shut that donkey up. Hmm? Come on, let's kick that thing's ass out and possess that land in your mind. Drive that former inhabitant, that aboriginal black dark stuff, out, that ignorant of God's love, out, and let God weld it, let God grow brighter and brighter and brighter. Hmm? From glory to glory to glory. <laughs> All kinds of gunfighting going on there. And God's doing it. That's your spiritual warfare. You get in there trying to fight against some bandits, you're going to be abandoned. You're going to say, man, I did it in Jesus' name. And it's not in Jesus' name. Yahweh is salvation. Huh, now is it? It's not in the nature, character, and authority of God. Man, let's speak up. Let's don't be no whooped pups. Or baby, non-speaking babies out there preaching and chucking stuff down people's throats. Condemn you to hell. What a crock of shit that is. That's that scene, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with your ego in control. That ego, in John 3, 30 it tells you. That ego must decrease. And he, God, must increase. <laughs> it's well in that brightness. This little light of mine. Boom. I'm going to let it shine. Boom, boom. This little light of mine. It's a blowing up in my mind. <clears throat> I don't care if I got a troop or not. I'm going to say what God wants me to say. No. I'm lowering down that big braided rope, just like God showed me. He showed me several things. Not in some stupid, like, it's a, it's a bad pizza dream. I was wide awake. I got that one. God was showing me a whole bunch. You know what I mean? He showed me a whole lot when I was unconscious for three months. That new one had to take time. To, to, to age, to be ready to be brought out. He told me, towards the end of your life, I'm going to do great things through you. And that thing is to love others, to show them, to let down this big rope and pull them up over stuff that they can't get over and then give it to God. And they work out their own salvation, not in fear and trembling, the red way. No, no, no. God's getting rid of that in this oxygen rich, boiling water. Spring fed water that he was showing me. God's doing it. I don't have to do it. I can't work it out for them. But I can show them through some spiritual toolboxes, stuff where God's brought me through some hellacious stuff. Over and over and over and over. It has not stopped. I got a massive headache right now. I got food waiting right here to eat, to get rid of it. I just told that stuff just a little bit ago, didn't I, Lisa? Shut up, you old carnal dog. I'm doing what God wants. As long as I'm still kicking, I'm still alive, I'm going to the best of my ability. And yes, my head is hurting, but I'm not giving in to it. It hurts when I shake my head just a little bit like that. Ah, shut up, you dang one freaking beast. Be still, put a muzzle on him. I went to what Jesus said in that winds and waves of tor in that ship. They woke him up. He come up there. Well, he's sending me up there in my ship. That wooden humanistic thinking. Go up there and chop this one out for me. Yes, sir. Jesus was the firstborn among many brethren. 
Are you going to take God up on his offer? Yahweh's salvation. Come on, man. Let's exercise it. Exercise it. Again and again and again. Green light God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lord. Emphatically in hot pursuit. And God's driving that stuff out. <laughs> little bit by little bit by little bit. He's transforming that dark stuff, that dark matter, dark energy stuff into his light. Boom, enlightening you. A little bit by little bit by little bit. From a 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. And there's a whole lot of, like a myriad of thought processes or, or, or yuck stuff in this one thought process. And then you got how many in your mind? And it's totally... Come on, man. That's a universe of a mind. And it's never one of us. That's not the end of it. Just what I'm thinking is not the end of it. Lisa's thinking in her universe. My parents, my sister, my friend, my children, everybody. Hmm? God's planted lots of seeds. He's the master. Yes, sir, Father. Amen. I agree. Let's let God give us the increase into his love that comes from love for him more than anything. And then love your neighbor, your fellow human being as yourself. Love that Christ in him. You don't have to love all that poop thinking that, that goes on in the world. Ooh, yuck. It's absolutely denied by God. And it doesn't qualify with God. Hmm. Let God be true. And all that yuck stuff, a liar. It's a liar, ew. But that love the seeds, no matter how small or how great, you gotta love that as you love yourself. Because that is part of you. So that's part of God. And part of you in there, whatever level you're at, that's God. Amen. I agree. Yes, sir. That's the see and hear and taste touch and smell with Christ in control. Live, exist, pray continually from that thing. Two-way communication, not just big, 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 big. Uh, you can let your request be made known to God and all the peace and all this other stuff. Mm, I could quote that, but I won't have to. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, so we're all on, on down. I went to the end of the chapter. Let me study that. Because just skimming the surface, you'll miss a lot of it. You're not working. You're out. You're in salvation. Study. Eat your fill. And then grow. In the love of God. God's loving you. As you experience it. Hmm. He's increasing your ability to love Him. Hmm. And that gratitude, that thankfulness. Is increasing in you. The ability to be thankful. Not just saying it and secretively. You're like laying them wait just to lower the hammer down on them and tell them off and tell them how bad they are. As long as they agree with you, oh, that's great. But if they just say a little bit of something, oh, man, I'm going to kill them. No, uh, you don't have to agree if they're, they're missing the mark. It's like Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. Just like Stephen was showing us. Father, lay not this sin to their charge, like in Acts chapter 7 at the end of it. Hmm. When they're killing, they're gnashing their teeth on it. Hmm. Be like people throwing spiritual rocks at you, tearing you down, trying to make you feel less than this. And you notice my fingers are touching. Less than nothing. Hmm. Hmm. People could say, whatever. Oh, man, God saved your life, and man, there must be something great for you. Fair weather, friends. When it actually starts coming out, where they at? I don't know, man. I'm going to you. Why? Because I'm being obedient to God. Hmm. Well, the prophet has no honor in his own town. Hmm. Say so, uh, think about that. Look far off. Think about it. I'm in good company. Look at all the stuff, the prophets and everything down in the Bible. Oh my goodness! Sawed in two in a in the hollow of the log, getting all kinds of stuff. Hmm. 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego speak with you three days, three ages in this earthly thinking, put in a fiery furnace, and because hmm, you wouldn't bow the knee to Nebuchadnezzar, that old car of mine. No. When you slip up, get up, go on, back to God. What's the answer? Green light, God. What's the answer? Green light, God. One more time, third day in your life, third age. Not a 24-hour day. Not just three times. Just many times as necessary. Third try. What's the answer? You fell down. Oh, you having a hard time? Get up. You got a headache? Oh, you can't have this day off. Suck it up, cupcake. Hmm? <laughs> right? My wife over here can't even hardly walk in here. It's barely going. But, huh? She's a tough lady. Okay. I got a headache, man. It's just getting worse. Ah, shut up. I'm going to do what God tells me to do. I can eat a little bit. I'm not laying on the floor, vomiting, face down, can't even roll over stuff yet. <laughs> Been there, done that too. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to start this, put part of it on this one, and then put part of it on the other. See, that thing even kicked off on me. <laughs> I took too long for it. We'll get it. All right, here we go. It's pre-recorded. This is, let me go, do that again real quick. This is the Water Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 492. We're continuing the coverage, the examination, dissection in John chapter 4, verse 34. Hmm. These spiritual toolboxes are to aid you, to help you, huh? Climb up these things, get this love, go over it, and then work it out. Your own salvation. That's your deliverance for this. Not fear and trembling, but with love, honor, respect, laying like face forward, down in the natural, but it's, or down like on your knees. That's just submitting to God. You don't have to be laying down on, you pray continually. Thou Sisi, submitting to God. Father God, you are right. Yes, sir, Daddy, I agree. And then go, live, exist, exist, exist in that land of Goshen, drawing near to God. From the one to two to four to eight, you get closer and closer and closer in the likeness of God. Woo! Yes, sir. Shall anything be able to separate, separate you from the love of God, like the end of Romans chapter eight? The answer is, in short, no, nothing. Hmm? It tells us how persecution and make this peril. You can read that for yourself. I've read it some on here for you. Break it down. Study it. Mm -mm. You're not to be out there poking and cutting and slicing people with your tongue and mm -mm. condemning them to hell. That's not doing God's will. That's doing your own blasphemous stuff. Saying God is a hateful villain. He's going to get you. He's one of these bad guys, bandits, and you better eat this good stuff right here. Or you're going to battle. You're in this zoom, 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 whirlwind stuff. Excuse me. Shut the hell up. Shut that hellish stuff up. Because that word hell is all messed up. It don't, don't believe that red way of thinking. Hmm. Go God's way. Then give you the four words that's mistranslated. It's hell. You're doing it, you're thinking about it with your carnal thinking. Your red way of thinking. Yeah, it's God's green way. Then Jesus, the, God sent Jesus, the anointed Messiah, for the sins of the whole world. Was his success or not? Yes, sir, I agree. So be it. Don't believe this facade. This illusion of all this natural stuff is tangible, but it ain't tangible proof right there. And it's really, you get down the quantum physics of that thing, it's the most empty space. Let God be true. And all that humanistic thinking, that beast nature, beast nature, beast nature, is a liar. Take you in that prison cell. Eh. Let God take that 666 off the wall, regardless of if Barney Fife and Hulk Hogan's up there yelling and screaming at you. 
Don't you dare touch that 666. Don't you dare come in here. You can polish outside your cup. But don't you dare touch that 666 this year. They got it. Take that off the wall. Barney Fox out the gun. This is the rock, and you better do the letter of the law. <laughs> that letter of the law kills. It's the spirit of the law. God erasing that 666 and bringing it to light, enlightening you, and putting his 777 or his complete covenant. God loves you beyond the mere description of words. You coming into a union with that thing, the S-Y-M. Total agreement in each level. It's little order that God's welding, bringing that you to a heavier, denser, glorious nature, character, and authority of him. With this light, this brightness of his light is increasing. Boom, 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 boom. All right. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I just skipped all that other. This little light of mine. Boom, boom. All right. <coughs> it's growing brighter and brighter in your life. And you, you're not God setting you free. To, free. You're not held captive by Hulk Hogan and Barney Fife in your mind. Shut that junk up. Okay, let me get some of this <laughs> on this one, okay? And then I'll break the last part of it down in the next spiritual toolbox. Okay? Here it goes. Hello again. This is the water man. This is spiritual toolbox number 492. We'll be continuing with a dissection of John 434. Learners, 
are misunderstanding. They're thinking, Jesus, just get this natural food to eat. Jesus said, I have meat to eat that you know not of. That's doing it God's way, dream way. Hmm? Get that spiritual food. That's the only thing that give you nourishment to increase, to go through the eye of the needle. You can't keep any of that baggage. Hmm? That old call mine. No. You gotta go God's way. Hmm? And the, the, the disciples here in this verse, and it says, Therefore the disciples said one to another, Hath any one brought him ought to eat? They're adding their two sins. Hmm? That's the red way, a different way. And they're saying, This is to your advantage. Eat this stuff. Eat this chop a dog. It's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Don't eat that stuff. Okay? Follow what Jesus is saying. Huh? Huh? The green way. Yahweh is salvation. Right? Alright. Now, <clears throat> let's see here. It says reciprocally. So you're doing it over and over and over, right? Alright, it's the great way. Your path of thinking, the course of life. Got Alright, I'll have to put the rest on the last line. I'm about five minutes of it, so it should be good. Thank you. Hit like, subscribe, share these things. Bye-bye.